We're in Windows Server 2019 and an Active Directory domain controller. I'm going to show you how to move users and groups uh, between organizational units. So if we click on Tools in Server Manager, which opens by default, open up Active Directory Users and Computers. And we see we have multiple groups and users that are in the test organizational unit. Now you can tell the difference between an organizational unit and a folder just by looking at the little pictures. If there's a picture on the folder, then that means it's an OU. If there's not, that means it's a folder. And the only difference between the two is if it's an organizational unit, then I can go and apply group policies to it. If it's a folder, I cannot. So you cannot apply any types of uh, changes to universally to users or computers that way. All right, so what I want to do is I want to move my users from the test OU into the users folder. So I'll start with Tom. So I'll just select Tom and just move it over with the left mouse click, drag. And I get this little pop-up saying, hey, you could be making changes to group policies that may be affecting this user. Are you sure you want to do this? And I click yes. So if I click on users, I see Tom is now in the users folder. But there's another way I can do this too. I can right click on Sally and choose move. And I can just pick where I want Sally to go and click OK. And now Sally and Tom are both in the users folder. Now I can also do this with groups as well. So I can select one or hold down the shift key, select multiple ones, and I can either drag or right click and move to the users folder and click yes to that warning. And now all of my users and groups have been moved from one location to another. And that's how we do that in Windows Server 2019 Active Directory, but it also works in other Active Directory versions all the way back to Windows 2000.